How's it going, guys? Um, it's just a quick video. I've seen a lot of posts recently about how do you make the actor boat stands. Um, so basically, the stands you're seeing is a lot of the design you're seeing floating around on posts. I just want to give you a walkthrough of what you need to do if you're unsure, just to help you through. Um, the one I've made um, literally cost eight pound and eight p. The parts come from tool stations. If you've got a tool station local. Um, you can get the parts down there in the video in the description below I will specify all the parts required with the sizes as well just to kind of help you out but I'll talk through the fundamental design now for you so as you can see it's obviously that's a boat stand it's obviously got supported by two legs fundamentally here if I just move it off just so you can actually have a better look at the stand I apologize about obviously the bad video quality but yep yeah. so what you've got here is obviously up here you've got a 90 um t bend here so as you can see here so then you're going to have the pipe running along here it's going to be 160 millimeters vice versa 160 millimeters and then from there you're going to have as you can see here you're going to have a 135 uh, degree uh, bend here um, and again vice versa on the other side here then you've obviously got the longer supports here. You're going to be putting in a obviously a T here, so you've got T's either side there. The pipes run along here. You want to do them at 230 millimeters, vice versa, both sides. Okay, and at the back here, you're going to have again a 90 degree bend, as you can see here. Okay, so there's your 90 degree bend, so obviously counter flows on both sides, and that's fundamentally your top base of it. Now, obviously at the bottom, if you see here, you can see you're gonna have obviously your two support legs. So then again, you're gonna have a pipe run down here, which is gonna be 80 millimeters, then with a central T here. Then along the base here at the bottom for the support obviously of the legs, you're gonna have a 220 millimeters again, and again a T there. And vice versa, on the back exactly the same. So you're gonna have again, obviously, 80 millimeters there, you're gonna have a T there, you're gonna have a 220 miller design there, then you're gonna have a T there, and, and again, 80 millimeters there. So fundamentally, that is how it's obviously designed. It's quite straightforward, eight pound, eight P from tool stations, very easy to do. The parts required, just to kind of talk through that quickly, so you're gonna get six solvent weld overflow T's 21.5 millimeters in size three solvent weld overflow bends 21.5 millimeters again 90 degree angles two solvent weld overflow bends again 21.5 millimeters of 135 degree angle one solvent weld pvc overflow pipe three meters in length um, and then you're going to have four solvent weld overflow straight couplings as well so that is literally what you need for the design to make it as you can see it took me about 10 minutes to cut um, it's very straightforward to work with and, and to be honest it breaks down very easily into like four segments so i find you know on when you go fishing you can get it in the bag you can put it in your bait boat bag it's quite nice you can actually see you've got further holes here so if you wanted to you could extend it again because with the three meter pipe you do actually get a bit more you know length left over so you could fundamentally extend the legs further on both sides if you wanted it raised further off the ground from what you can see here so fundamentally that will you know if you want it raised up a little bit it works but as you can see with the boat there is a gap between the bottom so it is quite nice personally when i break it down i take this section out here and again this section here then obviously take the two legs out so then you've realistically got five sections to fit in the bags it's nice and easy rather than taking every individual bit down and as you can see it works again so just to show you i'll just get the boat on again see the boat there as you can see if we have a look down the bottom You've got a nice bit of gap there, so it's not touching anything. So if, you know, the boat's been in the water, you know, it can drip down the water rather than just, you know, sitting in the puddle. And that's it. So it's very straightforward to do. And if anyone's got any issues, needs any advice on how to do it, um, just let me know. You can, if you want, for like some of the main joints like that, you could probably glue them just to keep the main, you know, sections intact. But then obviously break it down into the four sections if you want to, or 
just glue it all. It's entirely up to yourself, but um, I hope the video helps a lot of people. And uh, yeah, and if you need any help or any advice, just uh, yeah, give me a shout. Cheers.